Ай, мы умеем отрываться, мы умеем делать звук, мы умеем делать так. Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Proud here. I'm back with another Wi-Fi battle. We post wins, loses, draws. There's gonna be a question middle of the video at the end of the video. And guys, man, I'm finally able to upload battles, you know, without some glitching. Oh, thank God. Um, anyways, uh, this is the team I had yesterday. I am using it today. This is an underused team. Um, so if you guys want to use this team, uh, the code is gonna is gonna be in the top right hand corner. And with that being said, let's let's get started, man. So my opponents here is actually working with a few threats. Um, the Gengar could be a problem, depending if it's Choice Specs or Life Orb. Um, the Tauros, same thing. <laughs> it depends if it's uh, Choice. And um, Don Fair could also be a problem. But um, I'm looking at this team. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to lead off with the Iron Jugglers because it's going to hit hard on um, anything that he leads off with. So I'm like, you know what? Let's go with the Iron Jugglers. And guys, if you guys haven't uh, liked yet, like, subscribe for me, man. Do me that favor because you know I mean? you guys are awesome man you know what i mean i appreciate when i get that one two three likes man you guys you guys are cool for that you know what i mean it shows that I'm, I'm doing something right but um anyways i'm gonna lead off with the iron jugglers and he's gonna go to the gruff five five so here he's gonna go for a party shot and <laughs> the thing about pranks that most people be forgetting that dark pokemon cannot get um affected by yeah unaffected by pranks prankster so i am able to go for a free uh earth power head that's another thing i have to go fly fly man let's go so we're already down um so he's already down one pokemon man. we're looking splendid so um now he goes into gengar and i don't want to take a dazzling gleam from this thing so i decided to switch out and i'm going to my porch my gudra and then we come around here man like we just uh came in a few times and uh here he's gonna uh terrestrialize here so I'm like, what is this um, Gengar is going to terrestrialize into? And here he terrestrialized Bug. I'm like, oh, what? I'm assuming because of the earthquake, but still, Bug, you could, there's other alternative. You can use flying or grass. But um, anyways, this thing is going to go for a Thunderbolt here. Um, Thunderbolt is going to do nothing to me. And um, I'm going to eat some leftovers. I should have put um, a salt vest on this uh, Gudra here. I completely forgot. Um yeah make him look like rambo but um he's gonna switch out now and um here he's gonna go into the tauros so i'm like okay that's fine um i'm gonna go straight for a fire blast here and uh you know this is uh aqua toro so he's gonna eat that up and um i'm gonna eat some more leftovers here so i'm like all right what i'm gonna do here i'm just gonna go straight for a dragon pulse because i'm pretty sure i could take a close combat from this thing but he actually goes for the wraith crash i'm assuming that he, he thought i was gonna switch out but i'm like nah bro man we're here for the long haul and um, a Wraith Crash does do heat to this thing, and I'm able to go for a Dragon Pulse, and that's enough to take out the Tauros. Let's go. So now he's down um, two Pokemon, and it's 6-4. We're looking splendid. And um, I'm going to eat some more leftovers here. So now he's going to go into Hunch Crow here, and I'm like, all right, man, Pimp Knight. And um, he comes out here shining cool. And here, I decided just to go, I decided to switch out. So. I'm gonna go into my Eeyore now because I'm pretty sure I could take any attack from this Hunch Crow unless it's special. <laughs> Please let it be physical. And um, it showed me that it is. So it does hit me with an acrobatics. Acrobatics does good damage. And um, the Hunch Crow is gonna get some Rocky Helmet damage. But um, that's good because now he's gonna switch out and I'm able to get um, some free stealth rocks up. So now he's gonna go out to this chubby Pokemon, um, Belly Bolt. And um, I don't really know what Belly Bolt normally do. I know that their uh, abilities like what, me Megamorphosis or something like that. But um, it doesn't really matter, man, because I'm pretty sure we can eat any attack from this thing. But here, he actually goes for the Muddy Water. I'm like, this dirty Pokemon, man. Crazy. And I'm, I'm gonna activate my ability. I'm gonna go straight for the Earthquake here. Drop the Earth on his thing. Shake the ground um, on his feet. But um, that judging by that damage i'm like what is this physically defensive or something and its ability is gonna activate so um it's electric moves gonna be be um tougher but i'm um, here he goes for an acid spray i'm not really sure if he was thinking i was gonna switch out or something or the acid spray was gonna take me out but i'm like you know what man let's go straight for an earthquake man. let's get nasty on this pokemon that's enough to take out the belly boat man let's go man let's go and guys question of the day what is your favorite Gen 9 ground Pokemon? What is your favorite Gen 9 ground Pokemon? Let me know down in the comments, man. Um, now he's going to go into the Hunch Crow here. I'm like, all right, then. Um, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to take uh, acrobatics from this thing. But we live. Oh, yeah. Ooh, 
<laughs> I completely forgot that our stamina boost, man. Yo, e yo, Mudstail is a beast, man. I love using this Pokemon. I love using this Pokemon. So I'm gonna go straight for a rest here, man. Get really sleepy. Middle of the fight, man. It's like going to war, signing for a job application. <laughs> Crazy. But um, yeah, I'm gonna um get full health over here and um i'm like you know what i, I can stay for days man because i do have the rocky helmet and i'm here he decides to switch out and uh go into don fan i'm not really sure what was his thought process here but i'm um, i'm assuming to get stealth rocks up but i'm like you know what i don't really care man um we're gonna we're gonna catch a sleep turn here and i know that i could take any attack from this thing so i'm here he does go for the stealth rocks i'm like okay that's perfect is um i'm just gonna burn all my sleep turns as long as i burn all my sleep turns we could just go back and forth um i can hit this thing with earthquake and all that grand stuff so um here he's actually gonna withdraw and um he's gonna go into the gengar so gengar come out here man looking like um bug's life from disney and uh he's gonna get hit with some stealth rock damage and since it's bug it does much more damage than um if he was ghost so i do go for the earthquake though and that earthquake does good damage but since he's bug he does resist it which stinks so i'm like you know what man um let's go for another earthquake here i mean we have nothing else to lose he does go for a shadow ball this shadow ball does heaps i'm like what in the choice specs and um here i am gonna go for a stone edge i missed the stone edge man come on er what's wrong with you bro um he is gonna go for another shadow ball and that's enough to take out my boy man my guy my guy my boy and um He's gone now, and um, here, I'm like, all right, who are we going to go into? I'm like, you know what, let's go into my porridge. I'm pretty sure we could take Shadow Balls for days, even if this thing is choice specs. So, um, here, I decided just to go for the, I believe, the Dragon, Dragon Pulse, because it's going to hit everything on his team. So, um, here, he goes into the Don fan, and I'm like, okay, that's fine. Um, like, I'm not really worried about that. I'm just going to go straight for the Dragon Pulse here. You know what I mean, and um, that that's good, man. We're peeling peeling this uh, Dumbo's trunk back, and I'm gonna eat a little bit of leftovers here. So I'm like, I don't think there's no need for me to switch out or anything like that. So I decided to go straight for a Dragon Pulse here. That's enough to take out the Don Fan, man. Let's go. And um, yeah, man. So now that he's down now, we're gonna eat a little bit of leftovers. We're having a turkey dinner while smacking Pokemon left and right, man. That's how you know. That's how you know what what tough as heck. Um. Now he's down to his last two Pokemon, the Huntcrow and uh, um, Gengar. So Huntcrow is going to come out here and it's going to get him some Stealth Rock damage. And uh, here he's going to go for the Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch does heaps to me. And um, here I'm going to go for the Ice Beam. That's enough to take out the Huntcrow. <laughs> man, we're looking splendid, man. So I'm like, all right. I think the Gengar is going to go down from the, the Stealth Rocks, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we're gonna eat a little bit more leftovers here and i know that his last pokemon is the gengar so um yeah so gengar come out here man looking spooky but where it's playing on the side we're not really worried about that you know what i mean venom off tentacles and um he actually he actually lives and uh, he's able to go for a shadow ball so this gengar is flowing now and he is pissed you know what i mean so my gang uh my uh gudra is down now and um yeah i decided to go into my um my Fred here and uh here yeah, I know I can take any attack from this thing and um it does show me that he was choice specs so he hits me with a shadow ball shadow ball does heat to me and I'm um, a U-turn is able to take out the Gengar and that's the match guys all right dang if you guys haven't noticed I, I voice recorded this like a few times <laughs> but um anyways man I hope you guys enjoyed the battle man like subscribe for me and um I'm out of here man peace